So we'll need some interaction from the jungler. They can get those kills, but they might also just turn up top and try to camp Odo while they shut him down. Well, we'll find out if they can shut him down because the lineups are locked in and it's time to hit the rift and settle the score between the Unicorns of Love and H2K. Unicorn, unicorn, H2K. H2K and you know, we have completely different styles. H2K has always been one of the teams that we have been struggling with. I can play as aggressive as I want and especially I will snowball. They have a really strong methodical style going for the objectives and we sometimes have trouble handling that. I don't know if they just go ham all the time because they don't really want to learn how to play <laughs> strategically. Why is he on his weak side? Find out. H2K gonna look to control the Blue Sentinel, push away Unicorns of Love, Flame Choppers. He's gonna get sidestepped here from Visit Chachi, but the Death okay, Sentinel connects onto Hillisang. He's flayed backwards. The Body Slam from Lulex connects, and first blood to the Fat Man. Kickers is trying to run away. He will grab himself a kill on the board and flash over the wall. Double, triple flash from H2K. It's a two for one trade, and the red buff lands, I believe, in the hands of Oduwamne. Maybe they're not ready to play strategically just yet, but we are. Yarnan, 0-0-2, got some assist to work out. Now, Power of Evil, oh, he's gonna get body slammed down. Flash is available, maybe a little too late. Flash forward from Ryu. We'll see how the additional move speed and attack speed plays in his favor, if he can get to a tower, of course. Now, he realizes that he can no longer handle that 2v2 all too well or not get too much of an advantage here. So he buys boots for mobility and extra attack speed. And he says, okay, you guys can take bottom tower. We don't really want to lose our too much on the lane, so we'll just go top. So let's see, Lulex, he's... Oh, another flash body slam. He's thrown Power of Evil into the waiting hands of Ryu. We do see Power of Evil survive a few seconds longer, but a Fantastic well executed combo game. by Lulex, even though Gragas got nerfed. BF Sword. Okay, let's go to around 1,300 gold, so moving his way to BF Sword. But as I say that, we may have a team fight on the hunt thrown down. Vardex has used Spell Shield very, very early. Oduamnes got caught up by the Parallel Convergence. He will take the Lantern to safety as he splits up Unicorns of Love with the Equalizer. The Super Mega Death Rocket splashes across Unicorns of Love as they pick up a kill onto Hellasang. Kissing is tanking up. But as the game progressed, he still found ways to combo with his team so effectively. And Oduamnes is definitely trending Flash heavily. Yannan's in trouble. Can he get to the Lantern? He does manage to make it out. Flashes and catches it. Parallel Convergence stuns nobody up, but Unicorns get the tower. Now we see Power of Evil knocked into the middle of the team and things are getting messy. Equalizer comes out and it splits UOL. That means that the Shockwave is going to throw out a one there backwards. Super Mega Death Rocket did not connect with anyone from UOL, so Gyanen looking to get excited. Kickers, he chrono breaks back in, but he hasn't got the kill yet. There's no AP. Boomerang Blade doesn't connect, and Gyanen, he does get excited with the help of Ryu. They've ended up trading one for two. Triple Another kill. kill. This time, no uh, pass of excitement here for Jinx. Quadra <laughs> kill for Ryu. The extended team fight going in H2K's favor. Oh, they gave that kill to Ryu. You saw them slow down and Ryu with the taunt right afterwards. Quadra kill from the normally utility mid laner that is Ryu and yeah, H2K dominant fight here. Explosive cost but kick is Chrono breaks out. Back in time. Look at Odoamne. He's going to burn down this tree. Equalizer will be up in a few seconds. Odoamne. Can he get the kill? Chachi is trying to reduce the damage of that Vengeful Maelstrom. I don't think it's going to be enough. Oduwame doesn't even need an ultimate. He's going to throw down another Flame Spitter. If he can line it up, visit Chachi. Made that one close. The heal from the passive did work out at five eggs. My word, Kasing. He lands another death sentence. And H2K secure the fourth tower of the game. One spell shield is simply not enough at this point to keep the unicorns alive. Forest Fire on the bot lane kills Vizichachi. Vardax blocks one spell, gets hit by the hook right after, and H2K, they're snowballing their advantage here. Origin made Unicorns of Love look like a bottom of the table team yesterday. H2K trying to do the same. Power of Evil's caught out by everything. He gets sniped by the Mega Death Rocket. Oduwamne's on the back line, he gets caught by Chachi. He's already used the Equalizer, and the pop from the Maelstrom will secure at least one kill for UOL. But how much will it help? Ryu's looking Leo. for more. Glitzalance does not stipe the big tree, but HTK will be happy with the trade. They get another tower. Another tower. Yarnan gets excited. Decide to go in and 
Again, a couple of kills and an objective. Every time A2K ties their chaos to an objective at least. In worst case, you just wait three minutes. If you haven't seen them walk in again, then you know their wars are dead. You can try it again. You are well, definitely want to wait. Quite a few minutes. 7,000 gold down, 20 minutes sang. in. Here's the Righteous Glory, Oruwamne. He throws out the Equalizer. Hellasang's being burned down. There is an Hourglass available, and no Oruwamne uses it. Here comes Ryu, Wild Growth, Willikin in range. He's flashed for it. Now Vizichachi in Power of Evil, trying to get Oruwamne down. We'll already see the rockets coming out. Ryu looking for more. Hellasang wants to re-engage, and Ryu's caught out. He flash engaged for that one. Well, that's two. They're controlled macro type of style in League of Legends, and it's working. Oram is going in. Wow, he's flashed in for the flame spitter. We do see the Death Rocket connect. Lulex is holding on to his explosive fast until barrel. that second catches Hillisang and burns him down. H2K. But they have to burn the flash in the jungler, and then the next time, Unicorns might not even be able to stop the Baron because H2K can do it in full vision because the jungler can't get in. So Oduwam is in trouble. He does not actually get hit by that Tibbers. Hillisang is going to try to run him down with Vizichachi. Goes golden for a few more seconds. Kasing is trying to try to get into range. Let's see if the Lantern can be found. Oduwam is trying to get in Maybe. range. He's been rooted in place oh. and he gets burned down by the big bad bear. Oduwam there. Fireballs of Hillisang. Not paying off quite yet. No, it is not. One, two, three. These kickers can count. We'll see whether or not they can secure their fourth tower of the game. This Vardex Auto, I'm not flanking with the teleport. Couple of auto attacks down. Teleport That's coming into no. the river. Hillisang looking for Oduwamne. He does manage to stun him up. And Oduwamne goes golden with the flames being spacked out. He should get time to get the equalizer out as he does. Wild Growth was used to keep him alive. Now Vardex defensively flashing away. Oduwamne, the only one I think that was caught by that shockwave. So two kills for H2K. Power of Evil gets one. But Hillisang, Power of Evil and Kickers are running away. The Chrono Break, I think, is still available there for Kickers. It's not being used. Double kill for Hyanen. Get Get excited, run them down, and kill the power ponies. Kickus may stall out for a few seconds. Killed in Whimsy. A one for four as H2K punish you well. Fantastic teleport by Oduwam. The unicorns tried to burst him down before he could lay down the equalizer, before he could use the Zonias. But he managed to barely get that Zonias off, and that bought enough time for them to smart cast that Rumble ulti, immediately get it out, and Lantern saves him even keeps him alive. Eventually he drops in the fight, but he did, he did his duty, his job as one of the initial former shot powers for H2K. Kasing now joined in a little bit with that, and it's working out beautifully. Ever so faintly, looking at Yarn, he doesn't feel the need to buy a Lost Whisper. Not enough armor on unicorns, he says, I just want to stay alive. I buy the Bloodthirster, give me the more shields, get the Quicksilver Sash if I ever make a mistake and I get caught somehow. I haven't died yet. He has the Quicksilver Sash. Let's take a look at that. Oduwamne has jumped in. Equalizer. Shockwave, I think, didn't even get cast. His power of heal was dead before it could. Lulex is zoning away for Ryu. Oduwamne running them down. Chachi gets cut like a giant redwood, and Vardax gets fried on the base steps. Hillisang eats a massive crit and gets the regen from the fountain. Four members down. H2K, super minions to work with. They set their sights onto the Nexus turrets, and at 34 minutes, look to go undefeated in week number three. They even kill Hillisang under the base for the ace. And Systematic H2K. destruction by H2K, and they convincingly take this game. 15,000 gold in the lead. H2K win the match of the week. Fantastic performance once more.